What's up hippies part 2. Today we're going to learn how to make a custom heart shaped tie dye vector in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. So in Illustrator let's just start a new file and name this tie dye. Uh, for the width and the height I want a thousand pixels. You can change your units here and everything else we're going to keep default. So color mode RGB, raster, high. Click create. All right. Uh, if you want your artboards and uh, workspace to look like mine, just go to Window, Workspace, Essentials Classic. I'm just going to hit Reset on mine so you can see that, uh, yeah, this is the default uh, workspace that I'm going to use. So you can uh, follow the tool, you just follow along using the tools that I use and things like that. Okay, so we want to create two perfect circles first. Let's uh, just take away this fill. We don't want to fill. Click this None here. So this is just going to create a, a black um, stroked circle. So you can hit L on your keyboard to go the, to the ellipse tool, um, or you can hit this drop down here and go to ellipse. All right, we're not going to draw a circle. We're just going to click on the inside of our artboard, and you should see this dialog box come up. And yeah, we're going to choose these dimensions, uh, 400 pixels by 400 pixels. Um, if your stuff is changing, make sure you're like have it not constrained like this. Um, otherwise, like it'll change the height along with it. But doesn't matter for for mine. Let's just do 400 by 400. All right, there we go. So now that we have this shape, we just want to pull an exact copy over here. So with your selection tool highlighted, hold Option, and you should see this double cursor click and drag while still holding option and then hold shift that way it'll keep it perfectly in line yeah, let's pull it over about 290 pixels uh, you can see in the DX and DY di dialog box there <laughs> little stutter alright that should be good and now we want to unite both of these shapes using Pathfinder so highlight both of them and you can go over here to your Pathfinder panel and click unite all right, and now let's just align this to the center. So in your align panel over here with everything still highlighted, you can click these options, align to artboard, and then you can just hit horizontal center. Okay, so you should have a shape that kind of looks like this. We want to pull this shape down a little bit um, just so we can create the bottom of the heart. So go here to the direct selection tool you can hit A on your keyboard. Let's just highlight that center point here. So neither of these should be highlighted. You can tell because they don't have a fill and this one has the blue fill. All right, I'm just gonna use shift and the down arrow on my keyboard to just pull this down. Yeah, uh, we can fix it a little bit later. Just pull it down till it kind of looks like the uh, bottom of the heart shape that you want. It's kind of a weird shape right now, so let's go to the pen tool drop down you should see the anchor point tool you can hit shift C on your keyboard so you should have the tool that looks like this let's just click this bottom anchor point so now it took away all the curvature and it's just straight lines out of that anchor point now and going down to the same drop down go to the delete anchor point tool you can hit minus on your keyboard and we just want to get rid of these two points Okay, um, this is pretty close to what we want, but I'm gonna curve this a little bit more, this section. So let's go to the direct selection tool. And these are just handles for your anchor points that determine um, how much the line is going to curve. Click and drag this handle down. You can hold shift so it doesn't go crazy over here. Just hold shift and, hold, and pull it down. And let's pull it down to about right here and let's just do let's click this point with our direct selection and we can pull it down roughly the same uh, amount it doesn't have to be perfect um, it's kind of the point of this tutorial is you can do it with any shape that you want it doesn't have to be perfect so let's leave it like this uh, I can see that you know this side maybe is a, a little less curved than this side that's okay it doesn't matter let's just keep it like this alright so let's go to our selection tool now and highlight everything and we just want to align this to the horizontal center 
and the vertical center. So now our heart is perfectly in the center of our uh, artboard. All right, now we're getting to the fun part. Uh, we want to create a, a big spectrum stroke around this. So highlight your heart. Let's bump this stroke up to 30 points. That looks pretty good. And now let's go into our swatches. You can hit uh, this icon or you can just go to window and swatches. Either way is fine. And we want to hit this like more options here. This like little three three uh, row icon. And you should see this uh, drop down menu. Let's go to open swatch library, gradients, and spectrums. I'll leave this here so you can see everything. And you should see this uh, new spectrum swatches panel come up. And we want to click this third one here just called spectrum just the brightest one okay that looks good now we want to create a bunch of copies of this circle so let's highlight it let's go to effect distort and transform transform let you see that okay make sure your preview is on let's turn this down to 93 on the vertical and horizontal scale. We can keep zero pixels for these. Let's not rotate it at all. Keep all of these um, these options like you see here. We don't want to scale the strokes and effects. And for copies, let's go. Let's just go 30. We'll leave a little space here. Um, maybe I want to go down to 92. Maybe even 91. This little bit of space here is fine. We, we won't worry about it. But yeah, let, let's go with 91. I changed it a little. And yeah, once your options look like this, just click OK. All right, now we want to separate all of these shapes. So let's, uh, with it still highlighted, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And now you should see we are able to edit all of these strokes. OK. And they're grouped still, so let's go to Object, Ungroup. So now we should be able to select each of these heart shapes individually. All right, and to get the tie-dye effect, what we're going to do is rotate the angle of the gradient within, um, within these shapes. So let's go here to the gradient panel. You should see you should have your stroke selected and yeah, be able to see the gradient here and be able to edit it. But we're only going to edit this part, the angle. And we're going to go 20 degrees at a time. So let's go 20, click this third one, and go 40. And just keep doing this pattern, 60, 80, all the way to 180. Bit, see it a little bit better. One sixty, almost there. Then we have to do it in reverse, unfortunately. All right, they're getting a little bit harder to select from here. So let's go. We got to go negative one sixty, negative one forty. negative 120. Yeah, we're just counting in reverse. And yeah, the strokes are kind of like going into each other at this point. So yeah, make sure you're selecting the, the right one. It might, might get a little tricky. Oops. Get these close. Yeah, they're getting real far into each other at this point, but that's okay. And yeah, once we get to negative 20, the next one is zero. So we can just honestly delete the rest that are in here. There's one that's, yeah, that one is the one that's kind of tricky. Select some of these, just go from the inside. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, if you want, I, I kind of like uh, leaving the center a little bit. 
um, open like that but if you don't you can highlight everything I just want to show you just create an exact copy the way that we're gonna do that just with everything highlighted hit command C that's gonna copy and then command shift V and that's gonna paste one in place so with that top one that you just pasted you can hold option and we just want to scale this down holding option and shift and just dragging to the center then yeah you can go to about where that white space oh no I forgot a step so scale that down and we want to send it to the back actually so get it about here and now go to object arrange send to back Alright, cool. That's going to help our effect a little bit. So yeah, zooming out, that looks pretty good. It gets a little wonky in the center, but that's okay. Let's just highlight everything. Holding Option, just drag a copy out to the left. That way we can, we can get back here if we uh, don't like some of the effects that we're about to make. But this is where you can get a little bit experimental. So highlight everything. I'm going to show you how I make the tie-dye effect, but it looks pretty good here. Um, but yeah, with everything highlighted, go to Effect. Let's go to stylize. Oops, sorry. Let's go to distort and transform first. And let's hit roughen. Okay, that that's already a pretty crazy like tie-dye fill. I like that a lot. But you can uh you can adjust these uh, options. I like to go relative and corner. If you get smooth, it'll kind of give you this like bubbly effect, which is nice, but I you know, I'm a little rougher along the edges myself, so, you know, make it a little rough. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let's go to about three for the size. The detail, you don't want to go too detailed. That looks cool. Um, I will kind of like, uh, let's go dirty dozen. So 3% and dirty dozen. Yeah, with relative and corner points. And click OK. That already looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you want to just keep playing with some effects, highlight it again. Let's go to effect. Let's go down here to some of our Photoshop effects. Let's hit Ocean Ripple. Okay, this can take a long time to like render here sometimes, so I'm just gonna crank the ripple size all the way up to 15 and the ripple magnitude to three. Feel free to play with all of these options because you can get some pretty cool effects. This is not necessarily the only way to do it, but this is what I'm gonna choose. Ripple size 15, ripple magnitude three. Pop, pop. give this time to actually uh, render. That looks pretty good. Gives us a little bit of a, you know, just kind of randomization in it. So I'm going to highlight all of this again. Let's do one more effect. We're just going to get a stylize and feather. And yeah, again, this can take a little while to actually um, just get your illustrator to uh, yeah render this because yeah, it's a lot of colors and a lot of effects on top of each other. All right, I kind of just like the radius to five. You can, again, play with it as much as you want. Let's just hit okay here. All right, yeah, it's, it's already telling us that our artwork's getting pretty crazy, <laughs> which is okay. Let's just, uh, I'm, I'm actually happy with it here. Uh, you can play with it a little bit more, but I, I kind of like it here. So I'm just gonna, do one last thing. Let's just highlight everything. I'm going to command G to make that a group. You can just go to object group if you don't see that. And I'm just going to take this little outside heart here. I'm just going to pull it over. Let's hit align horizontal center. Then highlight everything and hit command 7. And that should give you a clean outline for your tie-dye shape. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. Again, feel free to play with the effects yourself and uh, kind of find uh, exactly uh, the way you like to do it. But this is just a way that I do it. Um, but yeah, um, hope you like this. Uh, shout out to Alvin for requesting this video. And uh, yeah, really close to a thousand subscribers. So uh, thanks everyone for watching and uh, yeah, learn and design with me. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.